Hi, good evening, everyone. My name is Dave Lockenberg. I'm the principal here at Prince Alfred Collegiate. It's my absolute honor uh, to, to introduce us to the awards night for tonight. Uh, wherever this video is coming to you at, I'd like to firstly uh, just give some thanks to the number of people that, uh, that uh, took this opportunity on and the staff uh, who, who led this to be able to give our students some sort of awards, uh, an awards night. Uh, the history of the awards night obviously at Casey dates back to the school's inception. And for the last couple of years, we've had to do things just a little bit differently. But I think the sentiment of the evening remains the same. This is an opportunity where we get to honor each other for all the accomplishments that we've taken on this year. So when I think about the year 2021, really, I think that everyone should be receiving an award because this was not an easy year for anyone. I was just reflecting back on the year and looking at the, as I was typing up some stuff and doing a little bit of research on the school and I came across an article from October where our school was one of the first schools in, uh, in, in the province that had, a, that had a positive COVID case and we handled it so well with our staff and our students and I think that really that this just embodies who we are as a group of students, who we are as parents and our support for our staff and, and, and trusting us with the kids that come through these doors every day. It's my absolute pleasure and honor uh, to introduce this fantastic night uh, for students. So wherever this is, wherever this is, uh, wherever you're watching this from, I really hope that you enjoy uh, each of the teachers who's taking the time to, to, to put together some, some words that best define and describe the students and the wonderful awards that we're winning tonight. So thank you very much and we hope you enjoy. to give out this year's Grade 9 Effort and Determination Award. This year's recipient was the first student in my classroom almost every morning. He was not afraid to put in the extra work and was always willing to take extra time on his assignments and assessments to ensure that they are at the high level that he expects of himself. I am very excited to see where the next three years of school will take him. Jeremiah Legrell, congratulations. You are the recipient of this year's Grade 9 Effort and Determination Award. The Effort and Determination Award for Grade 10 goes to a young lady who I first met in a Google Classroom meet during remote learning. She let me know that she was sometimes apprehensive about talking in front of a crowded room of students, and she also advocated for herself very well and the needs that she had. When I, first, when I did meet her face to face, it wasn't the impression that she gave me at all. It was this confident young woman who had a lot to say. She knew her self-worth and she was a great student right from the start. She is so full of potential and she has worked hard this year to show off her skills in, in class and socially, becoming a great friend to those in need. Congratulations to Cheyenne Felix on the Effort and Determination Award for Grade 10. has impressed me by her willingness to face challenges and was in fact the only grade 11 student to take both Foundations 20 and Pre-Calculus 20 this year. In the classroom, she puts her head down and gets to work, pushing herself to fully understand the material being studied and not settling for anything less than the high expectations that she sets for herself. The 2021 Grade 11 Effort and Determination Award winner is Jody Linklater. Congratulations. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to present the Grade 12 Effort and Determination Award to this year's recipient. This young man has been focused on graduating since he entered Grade 10. He has consistently worked hard and put forth his best effort on a regular basis in all of his classes. He has not let obstacles he's come across slow him down or deter his focus from getting to school and achieving his goal to graduate from PACI this year. He is polite and a pleasure to talk with. We wish him all the best in the future. This year's winner of the Grade 12 Effort Determination Award is Brayden Coon. Congratulations, Brayden. Good afternoon. I'm presenting the Spirit of Casey Award for, for the Grade 9 student. 
This year's recipient displays a great representation of what it means to be a Pacey student. She has a very bubbly personality and her eyes are always smiling. She is always there to lend a hand to staff and her fellow students and willing to join in all activities. Pacey's School Spirit Days have been a great way for her to showcase her leadership skills and encourage her fellow students to take part. During this school year, which has been a challenging one, this individual has always had a positive attitude and shown lots of interest in Pacey groups and clubs and will be a great addition to the future. This year's Spirit of Pacey Award goes to Alicia Conley. Congratulations. It can be said that this student is one of PACI's greatest recruiters. They easily become friends with new students and show them the ropes. The student has been known for being a positive role model to their friends and consistently encouraging them to come to school while also providing the support of a ride. The student cheers loud for other teams, is visible in the hallways, and is someone who possesses a positive attitude. Congratulations, Joshua Vale, in earning the Grade 11 Spirit of PC Award. As the uh, English and history teacher here at PC, um, I find that I am obligated to start this presentation of the Grade 12 Spirit of PC Award with a quote. So I apologize, but here it goes. In 1946, shortly after the end of World War II, Winston Churchill said, success is never final, failure is never fatal. That said is what he said next, it's the important part. It's the courage that counts. The Spirit of Pacey Award is about exactly that, having the courage to take part, the courage to take risks, the courage to allow people to have different perspectives and to be their ally, the courage to try new things, to take on new challenges, and to throw your entire self into those challenges. Though I've only been a teacher here at Pacey for a short time, and my ability to get to know all of the student, students have been kind of truncated by COVID. I can, without a doubt, say that this year's recipient has done justice. Autumn Smith, as many teachers have told me, you have been one of the most active members of our school body, a hard worker and a risk taker. It is something that you've shown everybody in this school, as well as me in our classroom. I can think of no one better to receive this year's Spirit of Pacey Award Congratulations, Autumn. I can hardly wait to see what you do outside of my history class. Ashley and I will be presenting the Leadership and Spirit of Pacey Award. We have the same recipient for both awards, and go ahead, Ashley. Paige is a delightful presence around the school and is always looking to involve herself with activities anywhere that the school has going on. Paige has really become the face of Pacey, and her pride is seen by many of the staff and students of the school. She pushes herself and her classmates to achieve more than they thought, and through her leadership and perseverance, it allows others to rise to a high achieving level. She dives right into challenges that she hasn't been exposed to and is willing to take risks to try something new, whether that's drama, dance, sports, or even doing presentations in class. She has a positive attitude and demonstrates sportsmanship and is always willing to lend a helping hand. Paige Jim demonstrates pride in Prince Albert Collegiate, and we hope that she continues to grow her voice within the school as well as her future. Paige, keep pushing yourself and you will move mountains. We would now like to say congratulations for winning not one, but two awards. Congrats to Paige Smith on receiving the Grade 10 Spirit of Pacey Mad Leadership Awards. Grade 9 Leadership Award. This award is given to a student in Grade 9 demonstrates what it means to be a great leader in our school. The recipient of this award is a leader in the classroom and out and around the school. She participates in all her classes, sets a good example by always completing her work at the highest level of excellence, and is welcoming and friendly to her classmates. She is always cheerful, respectful, and has a positive attitude. She is able to draw people together in a way that makes others feel included and valued. The staff here at Pacey are proud of the leader you have already become in your grade nine year, and we can't wait to see the amazing things that you will accomplish in the future. I am proud to present the grade nine leadership award to Maya Kokadji. 
I have been given the opportunity to do the Grade 11 Leadership Board. Um, this person is an organizer, initiator, draws people together, and she sets a standard of excellence. I'm very proud to announce the recipient of this award as Lena Marino. She is very deserving. She shows dedication and organization in all of her work and her projects. She'll work over the lunch hour and she'll work after school. She also holds down a job in the evenings and on the weekends. She has a passion to make the world a better place. She lo loves to voice her opinions with her peers together with discussions and debating, especially when it comes to autism. She has high expectations of herself and she puts in extra effort to succeed. She will also help motivate others as well, and I look forward to her spreading more of her leadership next year in grade 12. This student has been involved in a variety of activities during their time at BC. They have been an active member of the Student Life Leadership Council, Garage Band, and played on the basketball team. They consistently demonstrate a strong work ethic and always lift others up around them. The student walks into every situation with a positive attitude with it, an expectation of excellence from those around them. They bring people together in all environments and make others feel welcome. Congratulations, Trey Joseph Baer, on earning the Grade 12 Leadership Award. Congratulations, Brendan Daylight, on receiving the Creative Writing Award. I can't think of anyone more deserving. You are such a creative person and an exceptional writer, and I don't say that lightly. Your extensive vocabulary, your close attention to detail, your experimental approach, your love of language, your consistent diligence, and your commitment to high standards are all key qualities that lead to outstanding, descriptive, creative writing. And I'll always remember your weekly wanderer. Congratulations, Brendan Daylight, on receiving the Creative Writing Award. The word that comes to mind when I think of the next recipient is consistent. She is consistently kind, consistently trying her best, and consistently showing up for herself and for others. In her three years in the dance program, I've seen her grow into a beautiful dancer, performer, and leader. She dances with honesty and intention, she works hard to refine her technique, and she takes risks and tries new things. Last year, she was the only non-graduating dancer on the senior team, and when learn learning moved to online, she showed up to dance class every single day. In the studio and on the stage, she is always happy to assist me with younger or new students, and she thrives at leading a team. When she is teaching, I'm especially impressed with how she respects others' ideas and is empathetic towards their thoughts and feelings. This student is outgoing, friendly, an excellent communicator, and a natural leader. Her dedication to dance is inspiring, and I am hopeful that she will continue to dance after high school. I am proud to present this year's Dance Award for the second time to Elizabeth Sand. The Tram Award this year goes to two individuals who have been in the program for the last four years, right all the way from grade 9, 10, 11, and 12 and has shown nothing but excellence in the field of performance. These two individuals have been in drama for the last four years, and one is a true performer, wanting to take risks on the stage and to make everyone's performances better. She takes the stage seriously and doesn't see it as just a class, but as an art. The other, this individual, might be the best memorizer I have ever seen. In grade 10, he knew his lines in one day, and then two days later, he knew the whole play and everyone else's lines which is a great aspect to have in drama. They took their characters very seriously and knew that they had to convey the story to the audience and make their lines believable. This year they got to work on stage together and actually got to sing a song with one another as they departed from the stage as grade 12 graduates. I would like to present the award for drama to Autumn Smith and Tyler Berenik. Uh, so looking back over the last few years, I can honestly say that one of my favorite memories is the first time the grad band students got to step up on this stage and perform. Depredation's debut show was such an amazing experience and is still definitely one of the highlights of my teaching career. As the students walked off stage, I decided to throw them a curveball. I got the crowd cheering for an unplanned encore. 
Uh, I can see the crowd, the crowd was screaming, and I can see the kids backstage, backstage scrambling, trying to figure out what song to play. Uh, and then out of nowhere, to break the silence and the tension, comes Trey Joseph Bear, and shred, absolutely shreds the bass. He kept the crowd going, gave his bandmates enough time to figure out uh, the next song, uh, and kept the show alive. His quick thinking allowed, his, uh, allowed the band time to regroup, pick the song, and ready for an amazing encore. Trey's leadership, creativity, and pure talent has helped shape this school's music program into something really great. And he is leaving behind some really big shoes to fill. Uh, congratulations, Trey. This year's Fine Arts Music Award is Congratulations, Tori, on receiving the Art Award for the second year in a row. Your incredible creativity, talent, and skills are widely recognized at PACI School, and I know you will have a vast audience for your artwork someday. You have a natural gift for art. It seems almost effortless. I know it's not actually, but it seems like it. Like you just need to let it out. You take a simple prompt and turn it into something incredible that no one else could ever come up with. And even though you've established your own artistic style, you're still willing to experiment with new approaches and artistic media. You always know what to do, and I'm always in awe of the results. Congratulations, Tori Mininzi, on receiving the Visual Arts Award. This year's grade nine Outstanding Student Average Award goes to two very deserving students who are a pleasure to teach. Both of these students set high standards and strive to meet them each and every day. Their work, effort, dedication, and positive attitude are impressive. Louise Reynolds shows great determination and pays close attention to the details of the work. Jeremiah Lagrell comes to class each and every day, ready and willing to learn and participate. Congratulations to both Louise and Jeremiah on receiving the well deserved grade 9 outstanding student average. The Grade 10 Outstanding Tube Students Awards goes to three lovely ladies, Shay Cote, Daytona Gamble, and Lauren Dick. Shay, Daytona, and Lauren are all wonderful students to teach. I was privileged to have them in all the same wellness tent class. I would say it probably wasn't their favorite class, but they absolutely killed it. Now, if saying that, uh, in, that they did so well in that class, the classes that they actually enjoyed, I can't imagine how well they did. Shay is quiet but sets high goals and is determined. Lauren is brilliant and resourceful, and Daytona is calm and consistent. I see a bright future for each one of them. Keep up the great work, ladies. Outstanding Student Award for Grade 11 goes to three wonderful young women. This is given by calculating averages that are taken through the year of their academics. Tia Lee McKellar, Lena Marino, and Jay Goodwill. These three fine students that I have had the privilege of teaching all three stand out as very hardworking, self-motivated young adults. Already, they have shown strong work ethic and they strive to achieve and be their own personal best. They go above and beyond with projects such as the We Video Project here, Dance Presentations Jay, and your own webpage, Lena. They show their knowledge with their peers and teachers through their writing, technology, and discussions. Congratulations, ladies. Hi, good evening, everyone. It's uh, my pleasure to uh, bestow the signature award for, for this year upon a well-deserving student. So the big thing about signature for a lot of students is what does it mean, right? So the history of the word signature in this school actually dates back to 1910 when the school was first founded. And it was the name of the yearbook many years here at PA Collegiate. As with any word in the English Dictionary, you know, there's a few different definitions and we're going to explore a few of them here tonight. So firstly, the word signature refers to the North Star, which is the brightest star and a little dipper. The ancient name is Ursa Minor, which translates to little bear. We can easily make the connection between Ursa Minor, or Little Bear, and PA Collegiate, home of the Golden Bears. Secondly, the, the secondly, North Star, or North Star, or Sinisher, can also be defined as one that serves to direct or guide. 
So in terms of this award, the Sinisher Award, the North Star, or Sinisher, was used as a guide to always find true north, Ursa Minor, or Little Bear. And the recipient of the Sinisher Award for 2021 has been guiding students and staff for four fantastic years. Autumn, I met you in the spring of your grade eight year when you actually came to Carlton for a, for a school tour. And I remember being quite disappointed when I found out that you had chose to come to PA Collegiate instead of Carlton. And I felt that way because even in touring you as a grade eight student, you were extremely inquisitive and you demonstrated a certain confidence that I see so much in you today. You truly are one that serves to guide and direct. You display qualities of leadership with your sense of humor, your willingness to interact with others, and, your, and a determination to succeed. You embody the PA Collegiate motto by striving we succeed. It's fitting that in this school of Golden Bears you should be led by such a shining star. Congratulations, Autumn, on being the recipient of the 2021 Sinister Award. Thank you for everything that you do, and best of luck in your future. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for uh, paying attention right to the very end of this uh, the show. I'd like to thank uh, all of the staff that worked hard to put this together. Um, from all of the, the work that goes into this. Nothing that happens really doesn't happen without uh, just a great deal of, of work and people dedicating their time and everything. Also, a huge congratulations to the students this year who are the recipients of these, of these awards. Uh, very well deserved, and I'd like to just wish everyone a fantastic evening and a great weekend. Thank you very much.